There have been days of eager anticipation prior to this massive clash. But now we need talk about it no more and instead focus on the here and now. A match that has the capacity to delight and dazzle no matter who you support. All the action coming up on EA TV. Hello everyone and welcome to the western part of the great city of Berlin. We're at the Olympiastadion. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And coming up for you, action from the Zweite Bundesliga. It is Hertha Berlin and they take on SC Paderborn. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And here's the lineup for Hertha. Well, in this 4 5 1 shape, it will be interesting to see how close the wide midfield players get to their main striker. Will they stay wide or play through the inside right and inside left positions? We'll have to wait to see how it develops. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Chance to cross. Textbook defending inside the box. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And quick thinking defensively. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Kinsombi. Now, let's see what they can do here. Real chance. And it's come off the keeper. Intercepted effortlessly. Oh, did well to skip through. What can he do with it now? A goal on the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Rafael Obermeyer. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. It is a decent looking attack here. Well, nicely cut out. Surely the equaliser. And they've bought themselves a bit of time. Could be. In it goes. And I'll tell you what, the goalkeeper is wishing quite simply he hadn't done that. Well, here's the replay. And as you can see, he doesn't read the danger at all, does he? It's a poor piece of goalkeeping. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. One, one. Excellent vision. Can he finish? Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. And that brings to an end the first half here at the Olympiastadion. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. 
Well, Derek, he plugged away in that first half, making run after run without too much success, but eventually he got his reward, and what an important goal it was. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. On the offensive, but they dealt with the threat posed. Zafak. Able to skip past his man. And keeping it out. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Corner kick played in. Well, not cleared away completely. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Dudziak. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. In with a chance. And there is the goal. He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Conte, Clayfish. This could level it. Oh, he's missed it. He'll be kicking himself. Well, the opportunity presented itself, and they really should be level. They have to be more composed, more clinical if they want to get back into this. Really good challenge. Good technique displayed. Really good block. Now, maybe room here for the counter-attack. Can't miss, surely! Well, it still could be dangerous. They won't complain about having won the corner. And maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. Well, trying his luck with the header, but too much elevation. Just ten minutes remaining here. And forward they go, chasing the game. Electing to shoot. Oh, great block. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent their last chance to grab an equaliser. And making sure it wasn't problematic. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And he's through here. Surely now. And a goal! Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. 
Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Could be dangerous. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. And over it comes. Well, not the best clearance. Vigorous defending. Blocked again. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.